The day we're taking a look at the NBA match, which is happening on Friday, June 10, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on that game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation. So make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. Washington Nationals vs Milwaukee Brewers. Our team pick is. Milwaukee Brewers. For the win, and here is why. Aaron Ashby will make his 13th outing of the season on Friday. Ashby had some trouble in his latest effort, conceding four runs including one home run in six innings against the Padres, and was hit with a loss to dip to 1-4. The lefty was pitching well prior to that start and enters with a strong 3.13 ERA and a 1.28 whip in 46 innings of work on the year. Ashby tossed one scoreless inning against the Nationals earlier this season and has yet to allow a run in three career innings. The Nats will have Eric Fed make his 12th start of the season in the opener. Fed struggled again in his previous start, conceding four runs in 4.2 innings against the Reds, and finished with a no decision in a game the Nationals won. The veteran right-hander has been walloped in two straight outings, and his ERA has dipped to 4.88, along with a 1.57 whip and a 3-4 record in 51.2 innings pitched. He held the Brewers to just two runs in 5.2 innings last month and has allowed six runs in 11.2 career innings against the NL rivals. The Brewers need some wins, and this series presents a great opportunity to break out of their slump at the plate. Brewers starter Aaron Ashby has been solid, conceding a total of only five runs in his last three outings spanning 17.2 innings. Furthermore, the Nationals' starting pitching is among the worst in the majors. Eric Fed is struggling, allowing 10 runs in his last two starts, spread across only six innings. The Nats have only won three out of their last nine games entering Thursday night. Our total pick is over 8.5 runs, and here is why. The Brewers are averaging 4.29 runs per game and 4.13 runs per game on the road. They averaged 4.67 runs per game in their last three games against the Nationals. With Washington giving up 5.07 runs per game at home, the Brewers will hit their average in this game. The Nationals are averaging 4.02 runs per game and 3.33 runs per game at home. They averaged three runs per game in their last three games against the Brewers. With Milwaukee giving up 4.34 runs per game on the road, the Nationals will score enough runs to push the score over the total. The Brewers and Nationals played over the total in three of their last five meetings. New York Yankees vs Chicago Cubs. Our team pick is. Yankees minus 1.5 runs. And here is why. The Chicago Cubs got a reprieve on Wednesday night as their game with Baltimore was cancelled due to rain. Now with two days of rest, the Cubs will try to regroup against the best team in baseball. The Cubs have lost five out of six games coming into this series, and the team's pitching staff has taken a beating. On Tuesday, the Cubs lost 9-3 to the Orioles as starter Keegan Thompson lasted just three innings, while giving up five hits and seven runs. As a staff, the Cubs gave up five home runs amongst the nine Orioles hits. The Yankees come into this weekend series as the undisputed best team in baseball at this time. The Bombers are winning close games, blowouts, low-scoring and high-scoring games this season. They are winning on the road and they are winning in the Bronx. On Wednesday night, the Yankees had their seven-game winning streak snapped by a rare poor performance by starter Nestor Cortez. Cortez gave up two home runs and lasted less than five innings for the first time since May 4. On Thursday night in the series' deciding game, the Yankees survived a rough start from ace Jared Cole and came all the way back from a 7-3 deficit to pull out their 41st win of the season. Joey Gallo's bat came alive with two home runs and three RBI from the nine hole. The Cubs staff picked a bad time to hit a cold spell as they entered the Bronx. The Yankees' offense should be able to feast off of the Cubs staff, particularly with the long ball. The team's ability to work the count should get them into the vulnerable Cubs bullpen by the middle innings as Mealy has only been stretched to slightly over 80 pitches per game at this point. Power hitting right handed hitters like Aaron Judge and Giancarlo Stanton will be licking their chops against Mealy. The Cubs lineup will be charged with putting together hits against Severino, who has been rolling lately. He has given up a total of three hits in his last two starts as he rounds into the form that made him the staff ace just a few seasons ago. 
Severino will be able to turn the game over to the Yankees' bullpen, which has the 7th best ERA in baseball. Our total pick is under 8.5 runs. And here is why, Luis Severino has allowed more than three runs once at home this season, and this Cubs team is not known as an offensive threat to make this a high-scoring game. The Yankees had to get 20 outs from their bullpen on Thursday, but were able to save some of their important relievers to shut down Chicago here. Looking at the Bullens this season, the Cubs are 16th in the majors with a 3.92 reliever ERA, while the Yankees are 7th with a 3.13 bullpen ERA thus far. Wade Mealy and Luis Severino are going to keep this game close by putting up enough zeros. The under hit in 9 of the previous 12 games against one another, including each of the last 4 in Yankee Stadium, so go with under 8.5 runs. Detroit Tigers vs Toronto Blue Jays. Our team pick is. Toronto Blue Jays minus 1.5 runs. And here is why. The Toronto Blue Jays are third in the AL East, but have the eighth best record in MLB. Toronto has won 11 of its last 14 games, but fell to the Kansas City Royals 8-4 on Wednesday. The Blue Jays are eighth in batting average at .249 as a team, and 16th scoring 4.4 runs per game, but have been much hotter over the last 11 games averaging 7.1 runs. Five Blue Jays have at least 23 RBI this season, which is more than any player on the Tigers roster. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. leads the team with 13 home runs and 31 RBI, just ahead of George Springer, 11 HR, 30 RBI, and Bo Pichet, 9 HR, 30 RBI. After a horrendous start, the Tigers have been playing better baseball since late May, winning 9 of their last 14 games. After being swept by the Yankees in New York, the Tigers bounced back to take two road games from the Pittsburgh Pirates. Even with five starting pitchers on the injured list, solid young pitching has been the strength of the Tigers. The team is 7th in MLB with a 3.61 ERA. The bullpen has been even better than the starters, ranking 2nd in MLB with a 2.78 ERA, behind only Houston. Elvin Rodriguez, 0-1, 10.13 ERA, is the 24-year-old right-handed throwing rookie scheduled to start against the Blue Jays. Last Friday in New York, he was rocked for 11 hits and 10 earned runs in 4 and 1 third innings of work. There are several videos or articles that have been surfacing around the internet about Rodriguez tipping his pitches in that loss. The Blue Jays lead MLB with 72 runs scored over their last 10 games and are second with 21 home runs during the span. Toronto has a favored matchup here against Elvin Rodriguez who is coming off a terrible start, has a ERA over 10, and has allowed a home run on average, once ever two and two-thirds innings. Detroit has scored 33 runs and hit just total three home runs over their last 10 games. The Blue Jays are equipped to win a slugfest, the Tigers aren't, and with 13 of the last 15 Detroit losses coming by at least two runs or more, the play is Toronto on the run line. Our total pick is over 8.5 runs. And here is why. Jose Barrios is a good pitcher who should get his act together at some point, but he's given up 35 hits and 22 runs in his last 32.2 innings. Elvin Rodriguez has been a disaster through 16 innings, allowing 20 hits and 18 runs while walking 7. Both the Toronto Blue Jays and Detroit Tigers have had great offensive success over the last two weeks or so. Give me the over in this spot. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.